I'm glad to be a part of the biggest day of your lives, Gary and Destiny. And I have to say, Destiny, you look very beautiful in your dress. It's a big change of pace from the pants that you usually wear in the relationship. I guess it was probably her logic and reasoning as to why I wasn't officiating the wedding tonight. It's kind of funny. When Garrett actually first initially planned on getting married to Destiny, he asked me to get ordained and wed them. I was like, well, that's kind of funny you ask. Earlier in college, I got ordained as a joke, so I was like, I'm all up for being up there, but I guess they realized that I probably would have shown up in George and a cut off, so I guess they, they, they just let me have the speech instead. Now, I've known Garrett since junior high, and by the time we got to high school, the crowd that we ran with was known for terrorizing teachers. But Garrett never did seem to get in trouble, but that's mostly due to the fact that he would skip school until it was time to go to football practice. Garrett's always been a day one friend and a hunting buddy. And Garrett's the last friend that I can still consider part of the original hunting group, but I think that's only because I'm the only one with a the boat. There's been many times where it's just been me and Garrett talking about life and women, mostly just you, Destiny, and just sharing a box of honey buns. Now, I've seen Garrett shoot many a times, and when Delta gets old enough to learn how to shoot her own, I think Grandpa's gonna have to learn how to teach her. This next chapter in their lives is most important. And there's no person I'd rather have in my corner than Garrett Hillis. So here's to the Hillises, to a long and fruitful marriage. Cheers to y'all. I used to look up at the stars and get jealous of the sky. And I wonder what it's like to get to hold them every night. And how they first met and what it must have been like. Start of a lifetime Cause I I love your dress. Destiny, you finally made it. I love you so much. You are truly the most amazing woman. You're the first thing I hope to see in the morning and the last thing every night. I promise to love and cherish you for the rest of my days. And I'll protect you even from just the spiders on the wall. I'll stand at your side through every storm and I won't quiver. You're truly the best thing that's ever happened to me. 
and I can never write enough on this paper or say enough to you to express how much I love you. I've been writing and rewriting these words in my head. We counted our story over and over again for the moment we met. Thank you for our first kiss your terrible proposal, which I knew, you, knew we wouldn't get through today without me bringing it up, <laughs> to the moment that we found out about Delta, down to this crazy week. I promise to be there for you in any way that you need me. I promise to devote my life to you. I promise to be the best mother to Delta and any other children that make come along. I promise to make you proud to call me your wife. Here today, in front of our family and friends, I choose you. And I promise to wake up every day, continuing to choose you, our marriage, and our family for the rest of my life. I, as the servant of Christ, now pronounce that you are indeed husband and wife. Garrett, you may kiss your bride. Yeah. May I now present to you Mr. and Mrs. Garrett Hillis, what God has joined together, let no man separate.